वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी शो दैट के सेवन कम्प्लीट क्राफ ऑफ ऑर्डर सेवन इज प्लानर ऑन टोरस ऑफ जीनस वन बिफोर दिस वी हैव प्रूव दैट के सिक्स एंड के फाइव आर प्लानर ऑन टोरस ऑफ जीनस वन यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक ऑफ माई वीडियोज एंड द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन वॉच दीज वीडियोज सो के सेवन इज प्लानर ऑन टोरस ऑफ जीनस वन दिस इज अवर topic what is torus of genus 1 torus of genus 1 genus means handle so this is the shape in which we have one handle or simply you can uh, understand that torus of genus 1 is a surface of donut or a surface of a tire tube so as shown in the figure this is a donut just consider the surface of this donut or surface of tire tube it represents torus of genus 1 first i modify this shape if we cut this uh, tire and separate its tire or tube we separate its both edges then we get a shape like a pipe or a cylindrical cylindrical shape or a shape like a plastic pipe or any other pipe now if i join these two ends of this pipe again we will get this shape so this is modified form if i again modify this shape and cut this pipe in this way and separate its both edges then we will get a plane like shape so this plane is modified form of this torus of genus 1 and from this plane we can get torus of genus 1 if i fold this plane in such a way that this edge meet this edge means upper and lower edge meet and left and right edge of this plane meet then again we will get torus of genus 1 so we try to sketch k7 on this plane for this first i take seven vertices so our vertex 1 vertex 2 3 4 5 and 6 i have chosen six vertices inside and one vertex i choose on the corner remember these corners represents only one vertex these are not four vertices if i modify this shape and get this torus of genus 1 for this i have to fold this plane or this uh, sheet of paper and in such a way that this lower edge meet this upper edge and this left edge meet uh, right edge meet left edge then we see that these all vertices that seem the different actually coincide and become only one vertex so we have chosen chosen seven vertices this is our vertex 1 vertex 2 3 4 6 and this is our seventh vertex now we draw all possible edges first i join these edges in such a way that no two edges intersect remember in a planar graph edge crossing is not allowed so we have joined all possible edges uh, we have joined all vertices in such a way that no two edges intersect now we find some other edges now i connect this four to seven vertices again 
5 and 7 again 7 and 1 2 and 7 2 and 7 now I connect 3 and 7 and 7 and 6 so vertex 7 is connected to all other vertices you can see in the graph that we have joined vertex 7 to all other vertices now we have to join all other vertices consider vertex 1 vertex 1 is connected to 2 uh, vertex 1 is connected to 7 vertex 1 has connection with 6 vertex 1 has no connection with vertex 3 similarly vertex 1 has no connection with vertex 4 also vertex 2 needs a connection with vertex 4 vertex 2 needs a connection with vertex 5 so first I draw an edge and call it as edge x this x will meet this x and this will give us an edge that will join vertex 2 and vertex 4 now we join vertex 2 to vertex 5 for this I draw another edge and call it as edge y and this y will meet this edge now we need to connect vertex 1 to vertex 5 and vertex 1 to vertex 4 I draw another edge and call it as uh, edge z this is our edge z and this z will connect vertex 1 to the vertex 5 so again this is our vertex uh, edge z now we need some other edges let us try to find other edges one needs connection with 3 one needs a connection with 4 now I connect 1 with 3 for this I draw another edge and call it as edge A this edge will join vertex 1 and vertex 3 we call it as edge A now we need to join this vertex 1 to vertex 4 so I draw another edge and call it as edge B this is our edge B and we want connection with vertex 4 so I draw another edge this is our B edge now we need one another connection vertex 6 and vertex 4 needs a connection I choose a different color here and I draw an edge and call it as edge C this C will join this vertex C through this edge C now you can see that all the vertices are connected with each other and this is only possible when we draw K7 on torus of genus 1 remember this is not a plane this plane is a modified form of torus of genus 1 when we will roll this lower edge 
and join <coughs> lower and upper edge and left edge and the right edge again we will get a torus of genus 1 so k5 can be uh, sorry k7 can be drawn on torus of genus 1 this is in the graph of k7 also i have videos on k6 and k5 you can watch these videos you can find links of the videos in the description thank you very much for watching this video lecture